So that means you could push on legs and everything. Go for it. Yeah, no face. Well, yeah. Go for it. I would never do that. I'm not going to show my hand. I'll show my hand in his face. Yes. And Zoe, you can show your hand in my face. But it'll be fine. Go for it. <laughs> so what do I do when she locks her legs on that? Uh, show me what happened. Okay, so I went in, step in, I squeezed my leg like this. Oh, you, she squeezed her leg? And then I like this. That's yeah. very interesting. It works if you're small. Uh, it's, it's also, it also could be, um, I, let me feel that. Can you, can you shoot this? I want to I address this as we got on video. Doesn't necessarily work with you. Yeah, so that's that is that is in my opinion, that's Autumn taking advantage of her size with you and uh, your uh, growing experience, your current level of experience. So she's essentially catching you in a moment where uh, it feels like you don't necessarily know what to do. So let's. I don't mind you. Like I don't. I'm not throwing techniques. Like those don't come to my mind like very quickly. So like I'm. You know, so, yeah. well, let's, let's, well, not necessarily. Let, let's talk about that. Let's just make sure that this doesn't happen to you again. So, can you do it again? No, you check it out. So, okay. if she's here and she's. So, look at her. She's already off balance. This is very, very awkward. So, the way I feel like I need to counterbalance is one with this finger. So, my right fingers are going to reach across her body because she's trying to pull me this way. And so, what I want to do is I want this leg to, to come out that way to help stabilize. I only have this leg. Stabilize right now, and I have this hand. I got this other arm too, which will help me, but, but watch. So, Autumn, do what you're gonna do. So, I'm here, I'm gonna use this hand now to push and to create more. So, notice that I created, I locked her up here as much as I could, I counterbalanced her up here as much as I could, and then I pulled my leg out to step. So, that's, that's what I recommend for you, just as, as one example of this. If someone does that, like really do your best to counterbalance their their, their uh, posture. Try, try real quick. Okay. That's an important moment. Because you, you don't want to think that that's a, a move that you can't get out of. So you're going to reach these fingers across. I'm going to keep doing what you were doing slowly. And start pushing your hand into this hip to counterbalance. Good. Push the hand. Now slide that thigh out. Exactly. And instead of sliding it across, you need to slide it here right here because that's where she wanted to put you. So you have to, oh. you have to create the table so that, the, so that you have a leg to rest on. Because if you put it over there, you're gonna give her all the freedom to turn you where she wants to turn you. Try one more time. Well, I also say like when you're, when, when you're locked in any position, like it can be like as simple as distracting the person for a millisecond to then take the advantage. Right? Yeah, that, that, but that's like, strategy versus technique. No, I'm, what I'm saying is that's oh, that if you're locked in any position, even if it's not the leg, like that's the get that's the like solution. Yes. The, I, the, so essentially, the solution is you know get them to think about something so you exactly. can do what you want. Yeah. And oftentimes that's going to be, if nothing else, if you're just going to maintain your status quo of being able to hold your own balance, that's going to be you creating a counterbalance for that middle millisecond so you can regain your balance. But if you only have that strategy, it's going to put you in a, in, a, in a cycle. So you're going to constantly be facing the opponent doing something to you and you counterbalancing. That is a great place to be if you're learning um, from students that are more advanced than you. Because then you're like, okay, I'm, you're putting into your body the solutions for a bunch of different variables. However, if you don't graduate beyond that, then you know, you'll hit a ceiling. And the ceiling is that you're never in a position where you're controlling your opponent's fate and controlling what they think. So it's really, really great to be in that position just so that you know how to, how to save yourself. And if you're confident in saving yourself, then you can play with people of all heights and all weights classes. And you're like, okay, well, no matter what, I'm gonna be fine because I know how to save myself. You may not necessarily know how to beat them, but you know how to not allow them to beat you. And that in and of itself is a, is a worthy victory but um, uh, you know, we all we all want to be better. So, <laughs> so try try that again just well, one more time. Because I'm, for instance, like she's taller. Yes. So as like someone who's like shorter, is that where like you want to be like bending your knees a lot more because it makes them like they have to like get lower to your. But that's still. Can you turn that off? Like, I, sure. I have very limited 